my amazing reading friends. It's Ani. I'm so glad you came to read with me. Are you ready for a Halloween story? It's almost Halloween, Percival P. Pumpkin's favorite time of the year. Only this year doesn't feel like the others. He's lost his smile and he doesn't know why. Will people judge him for how he looks on the outside instead of who he is on the inside? Let's find out as we read Grumpy Pumpkin. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Grumpy Pumpkin, written by Michael Cyperic and Lennon Nee Cyperic, illustrated by Izzy B. Halloween was only days away, but tomorrow was the biggest day of all. Yay! shouted Percival P. Pumpkin. My favorite day! He was finally big enough for the Pick a Pumpkin for Your Porch event. October 24th, the big day. Percival put on the finishing touches. He scrubbed himself up to an orange glow. He made sure his pumpkin stem was perfectly straight. He picked out his super stencil smile. Percival thought he looked as shiny and bright as a star. He went to sleep early to be ready for his big day. But when he woke up... His super stencil smile was gone. He didn't know where it went because he still felt happy and excited. His face just wasn't showing it. Percival tried everything he could to get his smile, but it never came back. Percival couldn't wait any longer and had to go with the frown that made him feel down. When Percival arrived at the Pick a Pumpkin event, it was packed. And as he made his way to the patch with the other pumpkins, he heard, Oh, look at the grumpy pumpkin. Is that his smile? Oh my, a grumpy pumpkin. What's he doing here? Percival tried to smile to show his true self. He couldn't. He tried to get rid of the frown. It wouldn't. He was happy inside with a frown outside. But he waited anyway, like the other pumpkins. Nobody in the neighborhood picked him to be their pumpkin. He became angry and began to yell. I'm not a grumpy pumpkin! I just lost my smile! I'm a happy pumpkin! But everyone was gone. Percival P. Pumpkin didn't know what else to do. He wasn't picked because of how he looked on the outside, not how he felt on the inside. Percival perked up. He noticed a child watching him that he didn't see earlier. The little girl had a frown on her face, but a smile in her eyes. She sat down next to the pumpkin. I can tell you're not a grumpy pumpkin, but nobody really heard you. They just heard yelling. People think I'm grumpy too, because sometimes it's hard for me to smile. But I like to call it my crooked smile. My name's Persephone, and it means princess. I'm not actually a princess, but I feel like one sometimes. I just don't show it. Just like you. We'd make a great pair, pumpkin and princess. And I used to yell a lot. And like you, nobody really listened. Then I learned a different way to show my feelings. I can show you if you'd like, but you must practice. Practice makes improvement. Percival tried his hardest to smile, but he knew he missed it by a mile. His frown remained. But somehow Persephone knew. You can come home with me. You'll be my pumpkin. I'll be your princess. First, Percival learned to recognize the signs of feeling angry or sad. When he felt like that, he took deep breaths and then he was able to express his feelings. Or he counted backwards from 10 to 1. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Or he found a friend to talk to. With Persephone's help and lots of practice, Percival learned how not to yell. And Persephone loved him for his crooked smile. And he loved her for her wonky one. And they both loved themselves, just as they were. Percival found a friend who understood exactly how he felt. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Happy Halloween. See you next time.